Hi there. My name is Daniel Reagan. I'm the Director of Application Development at the American Quarter Horse Association. Today I'm going to show you around our new website. Uh, you'll notice there's some big changes and uh, we hope you like them. Um, you should be able to find all the same content that you found at aqha.com using this navigation bar here at the top. All of your news, all of your information, everything you're used to coming to aqha.com to find is, should be right here under this. One of the bigger changes you're going to find is how member services works. If you'll remember uh, current AQHA.com, you used to have to click this button to head over to member services and you log it in at using your member ID and PIN on AQHAmembers.org. Um, we've changed that so that now in the new AQHA.com, member services is here and you no longer have to leave AQHA.com to do all the business that you do here with AQHA. Um, instead of logging in with your customer ID and PIN like you used to with members.org, what you're going to do is we're going to have to set you up a new account on AQHA.com and click here and sign up. And what we're going to do is set up a new username and password. So we're not, not going to be logging in with member IDs and PINs. We're going to be logging in with username and password. And uh, you can set up whatever username you like. And this is what you're going to be using to log in from now on. And give us your email address and your name. Come up with a good password. And once we get all that taken care of, sometimes we have to prove that we're a human here. We are logged in now as our test user. So what we can do from this point is underneath member services we can associate all of our AQHA IDs with this login. What we had noticed is that through various uh, reasons there were many people who ended up with multiple AQHA ID numbers. and. So and whenever you come to the member services page after you sign up, you can click on accounts and manage your AQHA accounts. So what we can do is add ID numbers. So if you have your old your AQHA ID number that you were using to log into the old uh, members.org, same same ID number and PIN that you're going to use that you used to use to log in here. Go ahead and put it in here. And this allows us to do business as this member or customer. And so what we can do here is from the member services menu, now we can go and do the registrations or the SBRs or whatever business that it was that we came here to do, we can do as this ID number now. And like I said, we can do multiples of these. So the if you go back to the account page, at any point we can come back into this AQHA accounts and add a different ID. So if you have ended up with multiple IDs for whatever reason, we can add all of those here. And now, back at Member Services, we can use whichever account we want. So right now, I'm using the 2718816 account. If I were to click up here in this right-hand corner, I can switch to another account. So if I, can, I want to use this account, 
we're going to warn you saying, listen, you can switch accounts, but if you're in the middle of doing some business, like filling out a form or something like that, we're going to boot you all the way back to the first. So I'll go ahead and say, yes, I understand. I want to switch my customer. So now everything that I'm doing from this point on is as customer 2718826. So hopefully this is a uh, helpful feature for you to be able to go through and uh, do business as multiple users. Um, in the next video, we'll take a look at how you finish up your business using our new shopping cart that we've added to the site.